are going to the auction. Chris is pretty excited. He's been out there for a couple hours, but I had some stuff that needed to get done before we could go. So I'm gonna head out there now. And some of the things that he's interested in are coming up pretty soon. So we'll go along for the ride. We're not at the cabin this weekend. It's supposed to be like snowy and kind of rainy and it's hard to get in and out of there when it's wet like that. Sweet! Yeah. You just got yourself an international. <laughs> Apparently we own a plow truck. It's kind of cool. Chris is pretty stoked. They're still going back there. So this is going to be really great for plowing the cabin road and just taking care of it in the winter because it's hard to find somebody to plow your road all the time and we didn't have a plow for the pickup. So this is going to be super cool. We've got like I think six kilometers of road that need to be plowed so it'll be good to be able to get it done quickly and sometimes it snows a lot here like a whole lot so this big baby back there will be good for busting drifts it's gonna probably need a little bit of work but some of you might know but chris is a mechanic and he's so it's gonna be awesome Yeah. Was it a good day? 
pretty good day, yeah. Is it worth freezing your butt off today? It was. Okay. I won. <laughs> I like that. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. <laughs> so, it's funny because it just started snowing. But it, whoever parked this truck to begin with unhooked the plow and put it behind the truck backwards. So now we're going to have to hook onto it and tow it around because it's facing the wrong way. I don't understand it. Why did that happen? Somebody wasn't thinking. Notice that that plow says NFG. So I don't know if anybody else knows what NFG means, but it's not very good. <laughs> Chris will fix it up. It's totally not a big deal. So we're literally let, right, ready to leave the sale. And uh, Chris is pulling out of the parking lot and this guy comes up to him and he's like, did you buy that truck? And Chris is like, yeah, yeah, I bought the truck. And he's like, do you want to sell it? Well, I don't know, maybe. So now they're negotiating. So maybe, maybe we don't own a plow truck. Maybe we only owned one for a minute. Apparently he's got another one, but it's older. And he's thinking maybe a trade plus some cash. So, hey, I guess we'll see how that works out. All these people are just loading up their treasures. It's pretty exciting for, for people to come out to the local sale and just pick up some stuff, maybe sell some stuff. I always like coming to the auctions just mingling with people and usually I buy a hamburger. <laughs> I don't, do you guys have auctions where you live? Have you ever sold anything in an auction? Chris and I bought a, a tractor years ago at an auction 
and uh, ironically we actually bought our first home at an auction so maybe that's where our love for auctions comes from but it was a farm auction just out of town uh, where we live now about 500 miles from our or 500 kilometers from where we moved it to anyway it was kind of cool buy a house at an auction <laughs> now we're truckers. Yeah, right. No pressure. Oh, don't worry, I'll grind them. Take it for our truck for its first cruise. I was gonna give the chicken some treats and then get some eggs. Chris is tinkering. Our chickens are like a year old. We hatch them in an incubator at home. And uh, unfortunately, because of where we live, we could only keep the females. Anyway, they're pretty cool and they know their names. I'll bring you out to meet. Hi girls. Andy, hi my girls. Hi there, honey chickens. Come on. Hi. How you doing? Thank <laughs> you. 
We got one egg. So the girls, the chicken girls, are very much our pets. And uh, they're not laying very good at all. So today we got one egg. And we have six hens. So the math isn't real good. But that's okay. We love them no matter how many eggs they lay. They live in their little yard. They have heat in the winter in their coop. They like pets for the most part and they're all named after the Golden Girls. So that's pretty cool.